Okay, you guys, I am back, and I, one of the main reasons that I am back is to, I know that I kind of didn't give a whole lot of a detail about why the, uh, colors, the box, from the box ones didn't really go as I had planned, and I promise you that, um, I will show you Oh, now that my hair is completely dry, I will show you later on how my hair turned out because I am going to redo it. Um, I just couldn't redo it the way I wanted to because I didn't have a whole lot of time and I needed to get some sleep. But anyway, to start out with, I used the um, L'Oreal uh, Dusty Pink small or smoky pink and I use the lavender smoke smoky lavender whatever you want to call it in the feel or feel so whatever you want to call it anyway it said that it was supposed to be uh, a shimmering pearl essence and it was supposed to be um, medium light colors Okay, so I followed what they told me to do on the on the box, and I the only only thing I did differently was that I mixed the two colors together. I took half of each tube and put it in each one, and shook it up, put it on, did everything I was supposed to. It took two bottles to cover all my hair. Not because my hair is long, but because it's very, very thick. And I was told not to let it set for more than 20 minutes, and I didn't. So I rinsed it out. And most of it came out, and you can still see most of my blonde. And the color did not come out right. It came out like dark blonde, purple, pink crap. Like what you might poop out if you, you know, ate pink and purple stuff. It was gross. My roommate loved it, but thank you, my roommate always does. So, and that's why I did what I did to it. Um, anyway, that part of it is done. I do not recommend them. I do have one more box of each, which I may eventually use, but when I do, I am going to probably mix in some of the other colors that might be darker colors, or I might get a darker powder stuff from L'Oreal to help mix in with it. That way, it'll be darker colors. Anyhow, um, I did go and see uh, both Star Trek Beyond in the theaters, and it's a great movie, as well as uh, the second Independence Day movie. Both great movies. Now, the only bad thing about Independence, Independence Day 2 is that it does not have Will Smith in it. And the woman who played Jeff Goldblum's wife is also not in it. Um, I don't know why they couldn't get them to. I have no idea why. But, other than that, Independence Day 2 is a great, great movie. Oh my god, it's incredible. And, also, it is setting it up to where there may be a third. We won't really know until this one comes out and how good it does. Um, then they might decide to do that. So, I'm kind of hoping that they do. Um, I really do think that it's something that they should consider. Because I do think that it's something that would, uh, that would be nice. Um, There is a lot of action in it, and it is quite sad because um, 
A few of the characters that survived in the first one, however, do not survive in the second one. Those of you that haven't seen it yet, I'm not going to, but I'm not going to give it away on that one. Um, I would hope that eventually, maybe, um, they won't have any more die in the third one. I would love to see that, but you never know. Um, most of the actors still look pretty old. <laughs> Older than what they did 20 years ago, but it, it was still a really good movie. I still had a lot of fun. It's a very fun movie. It has a lot of the feel of the original, except that there are a few characters missing. Um, Star Trek Beyond is a great movie. It is really, really good. Um, I guess better than the first two put together. I know that a lot of you out there, um, I've seen a lot of it on, uh, YouTube and a few others that say that, uh, the actor who plays, um, Leonard McCoy, Bones, is not as good as the Forrest Kelly is, or was, I should say. And I realize that a lot of you feel that way. Um, nobody will ever be able to replace DeForest Kelly. Nobody can. He was a great a great actor, and I can understand why some of you would be very much upset. But, I know that the guy's first name is Carl. And I'm telling you, he is great. He's a great a actor, number one. Second of all, you will not find anyone else better to play this role. He's done a great job. And he should be very well respected, not hated, for playing this role. So I'm not telling any of you what to do out there. However, I am telling you one thing, and that is that you need to open your mind a little bit to somebody else playing the part besides DeForest Kelly, because he's been gone quite a long time. And I hope that if they continue on with this new cast in the Star Trek series of films or TV show, that they keep him on. Because he is incredible. And I know that some of you might not think so. And that's your opinion. But if you'd seen some of his other stuff, like uh, The Loft, or some other stuff he did when he was younger, um, I know he doesn't have the blue eyes that DeForest Kelly did. But he's got the southern charm. Trust me. He does. And he's just, he's, he's great in it. And the whole movie is incredible. Um, and no, in this one, Spock does not die. Which I am very thankful for as well. Because I know there were a lot of ru rumors going around saying that he was going to die in this one. And they were all wrong. He doesn't die. Just for all those, all those out there who haven't seen it yet. Um, I'm not going to give away a lot of it because for those of you that haven't seen it, you will love it. I promise you, you will love it. And it left it all open, I heard, for a TV series, but it also might do a fourth movie before they do a TV series. And it did mark, though, the last time that we would see the actor who played Chekhov. Now, I don't be upset with me because I don't really know his name. Um, he played in, uh, Term he played Kyle in Terminator 4 Salvation. Did you know that? He played in the first re remake of Fright Night. And uh, another movie called I Buried My Ex-Girlfriend. 
This was all before the Star Star Trek movies. He was a good actor. And I am very sorry to see him go. He died at too young of an age. But at least we got to see him in the Star Trek movie the one last time. But it is a very good movie. It's action-packed and... You might even see a little bit of a raw romance for one of the other characters, and I do not mean Cat, Captain Kirk, or Bones, or Spock, just to let you know. So, that's kind of neat, at least I thought it was kind of neat. Now, I have heard that part of the reason that the Vampire Diaries is not going to return, even if... Nita Dovrov makes a return for, you know, that makes the show go, you know, its ratings go up higher, is because Ian Summerholder doesn't want to return, and neither does Cat Graham. They all want to go into other things, and I do understand that, but I still think they should have 10 years. So, and I know there's a lot of you out there who do agree with me on that. They should have more than 8 years. And, um, I tell you what, though, I would love to see Ian Summerholder as the new Superman. He would make a great Superman. I know a lot of people out there do not, you know, probably wouldn't agree with me on that, but I think he would make an incredible Superman. He really would. Also... I think he would make a really good Batman. There is something about him that just, he, you know, he, he could play either role. But also, if they decide to do new X-Men films, he would make a great, very young Sabretooth. You guys might not agree with, with me on that, but... I think he would. Uh, he also would make a great gam gambit, in particular, I think. So, who knows? I mean, he could end up playing a role like that. I'd like to see him do something like that. And uh, for Paul Wesley, I think he would make a great... Uh, Cy Cyclops. So, you know, um, let me know what you guys think. What, what you think they would be good in. And I'll tell you, one other thing that Ian Summerholder would be really good in, and I probably have said this at least on one other video, but I think he would make an incredible honey castle for the new Dirty Dancing movie. He would be incredible at that. So, you guys be thinking about stuff like that. I know I will. And I know I have heard they are going to do a new uh, ghost movie and Dirty Dancing remake. And they're not going to be any good if they don't get good pe people in, in them. So, um... I think Ian Summerholder might even be good in, in a remake of Ghost. So, you know, it kind of gives you something to think about. So, uh, definitely know I will. And Delena is my favorite couple in any TV show ever. They are the best. So, let me know what you guys think and who you guys is favorite ones are, I would love, I mean, absolutely, I would just love to know what all you guys think out there. So, let me know, and remember to have fun, and to enjoy these videos, and remember to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and be sure to look for more videos. Because soon, I once I get all my hair color in, I will do a video on all the different co co colors and all the different brands of hair color I have. 
as well as all my hair extensions. I haven't done it yet because I haven't gotten them all in yet. Some of them are all the way from China and England and places like that and it takes a while. So as soon as they all come in, I promise you, I will do videos on them. But also, don't forget to befriend me on Facebook. And eventually, I would say probably very, very soon, I will be making more videos. And, and I will show you beautiful pictures of all kinds of things that I've found on the internet. So, be looking for that. And have a great night. See ya. Bye.